At my college, we still have to wear masks. Uh, because the uh, positivity rate on testing is up. Some people don't even wear it anymore in the trains, in the bus. I stopped because they say we didn't have to wear it anymore. Just on the train and on the bus. So I feel comfortable without wearing a mask. As of mid-afternoon Monday, none of those people, regardless of their personal philosophy on masking, had yet seen the health department's 11 a.m. advisory recommending every New Yorker once again start wearing a mask when with others indoors. All individuals, regardless of vaccination status or past COVID-19 infection, the ordinance reads, should wear a mask at all times when indoors and in a public setting, including at groceries, building lobbies, offices, stores, and other common or shared spaces where individuals may interact, such as restrooms, hallways, elevators, and meeting rooms. We're not going to panic. We're going to continue to be prepared. But according to the mayor and his health department, weathering this latest of the we've lost count at this point COVID waves to flood this city requires less of us than it did during the spring or winter of 2020 or the Omicron surge of 2021. We're not at the point of mandating masks. We're not at that point yet. COVID hospitalizations this May still lag in most cases exponentially far behind those during previous waves. Not the ventilation crisis, not the emergency rooms being overwhelmed, not our hospitals over, being overwhelmed. And so for now, the city only advises and doesn't yet require us all to return to indoor masking, which critics point out may not convince those already not covering their faces to start doing so. They'll hear it, but they don't care. If you've got the shots plus the booster, why are you wearing the mask? Oh, even on the subways, I don't see very many and at a lot of stores. I don't see too many. You got to do what you got to do. If it's our best interest, then we got to follow along with the program. The health commissioner's office did not respond to Fox 5's request for an interview. On the Upper East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.